So hi, I'm Mark. This is Mark's Tech Box on YouTube. And today I'm sat in a slightly different position for a very good reason, because I'm going to bring you guys a review of the AI Coco Smart Live Stream Cam. Now the AI Coco Smart Live Stream Cam is a 2K camera with AI tracking, and really it's aimed towards live streaming. And so naturally I'm filming this whole video on the camera and using the audio as well. That means everything you see and hear during this review is filmed on this AI camera. And I'm going to kick off really by talking about price, because that's probably going to be the biggest thing for people thinking about whether you want to buy one of these or not, because it isn't the cheapest camera in the world. And actually it comes in about $160. Now that does include free shipping, and I've also put a voucher code below that if you use my voucher code and follow my link, you will get 10% off your order. That still means realistically we're talking about $140 for this camera. That being said, however, there are plenty of features packed within it. When you get the camera, it comes in a nice white box, and it's got a very Apple feel about the unboxing process. Inside the box, you get the camera itself with its built-in mount, you get a USB cable, and you get some instructions. So let's talk about the design of this camera. Now the AI Coco Smart Livestream camera comes in a silver design with some sort of two-tone silver effects going on throughout it. It's made of a combination of metal and plastic and feels pretty sturdy. The only thing I'd say that lets it down slightly is the stand which feels a bit plasticky to me. That being said, even the stand does feel really well made. On that stand you can either open it up to clip it onto your monitor or laptop or you can use a screw point to attach it to a tripod. This means whether you're streaming from your TV or from the top of your screen, you can actually get the camera exactly where you want it. For this video, I've got it mounted on top of my monitor. On the right hand side of the stand is a USB-C port, and the USB cable that comes with it is USB-C to standard USB. The cable length is plenty long enough if you're taking it from the top of your monitor to maybe a desktop computer on the floor or a desk. As an overall of the design, I quite like it and I think it looks pretty modern. And so whilst it looks good, what tech is packed inside this camera? So the camera itself has a wide angle lens and is capable of shooting 2K video. Now, as you can see from this, I actually think the quality is really good and I've been really impressed with the quality of the video from this camera. Um, you probably can't tell much about lighting at the moment, but it's relatively low light this setting and I still think you can see me clearly. I will have a, a light on just to show you what happens when you have some lights. So that's it with some lights on. Now, if you're into things like frames per second and zoom, it shoots at 25 frames per second and has up to 2X zoom. This, of course, is digital zoom, so effectively you're just cropping in rather than actually getting a better zoom. Now, the AI features are where this camera is really cool and where actually that $140 price mark actually becomes a bit more reasonable. And the AI features are twofold. Firstly, it notices hand gestures, which I'm going to talk about in a minute. But secondly, it can track you and narrow the route. And this is because the camera has two axes that can turn. There's one on the lens itself for going up and down, and then the whole body can move left and right. That means if I was to stand up, you'll see that the camera can track me. And if I decide I want to start walking around the room, it will continue to follow me, although it is catching on my little monitor stand as well. So if I go the other way, you can see that the camera can still catch up with me. And actually, this goes for about 180 degrees, which is super impressive. The motion from the camera is pretty much silent, and the movements are really smooth. Now the built-in microphone does have some AI noise production, which apparently is designed for drowning out some of the background noise around you. And the thing I found with this camera and audio is that if you're just using it for a video call, the audio is perfectly fine. However, if like at the moment, you're busy trying to film a video and you're perhaps listening back to it, then actually there is a slight crackle in the background and the audio quality isn't particularly great. And the more I think about this as someone who is very consciously listening to the audio as I'm editing a video, compared to someone who perhaps just listened to someone on a live stream, I do wonder if this matters quite as much and if I'm being too critical. And so I'm not really going to say a huge amount about it other than I'd like the audio to be better quality. However, if you're watching this video, maybe that's something for you to decide about the quality of the audio on this video. What I would say is if I was going to use this for a live stream, I would probably have an external microphone to capture my audio for my live stream. However, it's perfectly fine for video calls. And then finally, when we talk about spec, let's talk about compatibility. And this camera is compatible with Windows, Mac and Android. One of the really nice things about it compared to other similar AI cameras is it is plug and play. That means you don't need any extra software, you can simply plug it into your computer and you're away. For example, I've plugged it into my Mac, I've opened up QuickTime and I've started a new recording and all of the gestures and the tracking and all that stuff just works straight away out of the box. 
And so let's talk about the smart gesture control, because there are three gestures you can use with this camera. When you first switch on the camera, the tracking is switched off. And this is indicated by a red light on the front of the camera. If you want it to start tracking, you just do the OK symbol. From that point on, the camera will now track and the light on the front of the camera turns green. That means if I want to sit down again, I can. The second gesture is when you want to stop tracking, and this is just the stop sign by putting your hand out like that. The light will turn red at that point. And then the third gesture is for zooming in and out, and this is with an L shape with your fingers. If that means you're into music, at this point, you're probably singing that Smash Mouth song about a shape of an L on your forehead. But you just do an L and the camera will zoom in, and you can do that for as much as you'd like for up to the 2x. And you can do it again just to zoom out. And again, you can stop whenever you want the camera to stop zooming in and out. You also see from that footage, there is a kind of slight jump when you get to 1x zoom before you get to 2x zoom. All in all, I tend to find that these gestures actually work pretty well all of the time. One thing I have found is that if you hold them a little bit closer to the camera, then that's a way of getting them to be more responsive. Now, the other thing I'll show you is this little watermark up here. Now this appears on the camera by default and you have to switch it off by holding out the stop sign for more than three seconds. Now this isn't a setting you can change permanently, which means every time you turn on this camera that little logo is going to be there. And in my opinion that's a really irritating thing to have. And actually I wish they just hadn't put that there at all and I'm not really sure what the purpose of it is other than branding. Now having that logo there probably doesn't matter if you're just jumping on a quick video call. However, if you are going to be live streaming, you're going to need to remember to get rid of that logo before you live stream every single time. So what is this camera like to use? And this isn't a part of the video I'm going to talk for long with because you've experienced what it's like to use throughout this whole video. What you haven't seen, however, is that I have been using it throughout the last week since I've had this camera. And I haven't used it for any live streaming because that's not something I do, but I have used it for some video calls. And in using it for video calls, I find the tracking is really impressive. I find it really useful to have that kind of gesture tracking allowing me to move around. And I also find that the sound quality and the video quality means I've got nice clear calls with the person at the other end able to hear me nice and easily. It responds really well to low light situations as well as lighter situations, which is great depending on the time of the day you're making the call. All in all, I've been pretty impressed and think this is actually a really good product. So the question is, should you buy one? So if you're looking for an AI camera that can track you around, that perhaps enhances the quality of the video compared to your laptop, then this is certainly one to look at. The video quality is really good, the AI gestures work every time, and I really like that it's plug and play. The only thing that does let this camera down is the audio quality, which should be much better for the price of the camera. It is, however, probably worth noting that it is comparable to other cameras of its price range. And actually, if you can do a lot of live streaming, it's probably worth investing in a good camera like this for your video quality and then buying a separate microphone for your audio quality. Compared to some of the other AI webcams and stream cams on the market, it is a little bit cheaper. If you guys do want to pick one up, I have put a link below and that is an affiliate link. So if you purchase through that link, that will help this channel out. There is also a discount code down there, and if you use the discount code Mark's Tech Vlogs in the checkout, you will save 10% off your order. I also want to say at this point in the video that AI Coco have sent me this camera for free to review. However, they have not told me I've got to say nice things about it. And so I hope what you've experienced throughout this video is an honest review. And if you've got any questions or you think about purchasing it, do stick them below because this is something I keep using every single day, especially kind of for work calls and video calls and things. And so I'll happily answer any questions that you've got. If you've enjoyed this video, please consider giving it a like, subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you guys again soon.